Hello YouTube. In this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to install your EMS Top Gun 2 on your Windows Vista or Windows 7 machine and I'm also going to show you how to get dead center aiming as well. So I'll give you tips on how to get perfect calibration. So even if you have this working on your Windows XP machine you might still want to stick around and watch how to set up your aiming. Okay let's get started. You're going to need three pieces of software to download. Uh, you're going to need to go to the HK EMS forums and get the beta drivers from there. Do not get your beta drivers from the official EMS Top Gun page because the only drivers they have here are the Windows XP drivers. These are not the ones you want. You want these ones here. So Windows 7 or Vista, you choose. Download those. Next we're going to go to driver signature override at HGHQ. And this program here, what it does is, uh, because those drivers are not um, certified by Microsoft, they will not work in your Windows 7 machine unless you use a program that enforces you to enforces Windows 7 to use them. So we're going to go to DSEO, go down to the bottom of the page, click Download, and then you'll be taken to this page here. Click Driver Signature Enforcement Override 1.3b don't get the two, that's the old version. And then I'll take you to this page, scroll down, click agree, and download. Next we're going to be downloading another piece of software called the Remove Watermark. And what Remove Watermark does is um, driver signature override uh, will actually create a watermark on the bottom right hand corner of your Windows desktop that tells you you're in test mode. And that uh, watermark gets a little bit annoying so this just kind of removes it for you. Okay, so once you have all those pieces of software, stick them in your preferred folder and extract them from the zip files, which I've already done here. Go into Driver Signature Enforcement Overrider. Double click. Yes. Next. Yes. Enable Test Mode. Next. And now it's going to say, basically, you need to restart your system before this works. Now I'm not sure if you can perform all the, the following tasks all at the same time without doing a restart or if you have to restart every single time or maybe just restarting once. I'm not sure so you can give it a try and see what happens by doing just one restart but I don't guarantee that it'll work. Okay so next we're going to assign a, assign a system file now that we've enabled test mode and we're going to be signing two system files so go into your uh, Top Gun beta folder here, and we're going to be assigning HIDMI NIS SYS and HID Top Gun SYS. I'm going to copy my link to my address bar, paste, backspace, HIDMINI dot SYS, and click OK. And it's going to tell you to restart again. And then we're going to do the same for the other file here. Backspace HID Top Gun dot SYS. Okay, tells you to restart again. So basically now all your drivers should be uh, should be recognized by Windows 7 once you do a restart. Click next. Don't worry about that. Next, uh, remove watermark. Uh, if you're running a 32-bit machine, use x86. If you're running a 64-bit machine, get the 64-bit. Start it up. Just click Y. This might take a couple minutes, so we can just go ahead and minimize this. Oh, it's done already. Okay, press Enter. Uh, if it does take a couple minutes, go ahead and just minimize that and follow on with the tutorial. Okay, so next. Um, I assume by now you have installed those... Uh, pieces of software and restarted your computer. Now you want to plug in your light gun and point it at your screen and you should see your mouse moving around. Uh, if you don't see a laser I want you to turn on your laser now. It's on the top top left of your gun and now you should see your laser. And it may not be pointed directly at your uh, cursor at the moment because we haven't calibrated the gun yet. So here's how we're going to calibrate the gun. I want you to aim your gun straight at the ceiling so you're not pointing at your TV screen at all. 
and the laser should automatically turn off all by itself. Now press and hold the A and B buttons for five seconds and the laser will automatically turn on no matter where you're aiming in, in your room. This means you're in test mode. So next what you want to do is you want to point your gun at your light bar which is on top of your screen, the one that has the little red light. Point directly at that light and pull the trigger. Next we're going to point at the top left of the screen, pull the trigger. Top right, pull the trigger. Bottom right, pull the trigger. Bottom left, pull the trigger. So now you've done that in five positions and uh, you should have pretty decent aim right about now. But it won't be perfect because uh, by default uh, the settings don't really know where your uh, calibration edges are for your computer screen or your TV screen. So for example, if you point your gun all the way at the top of the screen, as you can see the mouse might jump to the bottom of the screen. And same for the left hand side. It might just jump to the left for because it doesn't really know where your screen edges are. So calibrate those numbers to see what works best for you. You can try using my settings. Uh, I'm not positive they'll work. Positive if they'll work for you, but you can give them a try. I am using a widescreen TV, so I don't know if it'll work for you. All right. So once you've set all those screen edges perfectly, and you've submitted your settings, you can save your profile. I have one that's uh, listed as uh, perfect calibration. I also have one for MAME as well. So now when you point your gun at the top of the screen, it doesn't jump to the bottom. It goes straight to the edges quite perfectly. You can get right into the corners, right into all edges. No problems whatsoever. Uh, bear in mind, uh, I am using a crosshair cursor. If your cursor is shaped like an arrow, your laser should be pointing at the tip of the arrow. Um, another thing you want to do to help calibrate your gun is um, adjust the laser sights that are physically on the gun and there should be two dials right next to the start button so uh, one's for up and down and the other's for uh, left and right uh, if, you're, if your laser is not pointing directly at the tip of your mouse uh, then you want to perform the, uh, you want to perform all this calibration again and sometimes you can get all done perfectly in one try and sometimes it might take you three times uh, before you get perfect calibration but once you're done you should be able to get to all corners of your screen quite easily and there will be no mouse jumping from side to side so that's pretty much the video right there um, please rate and comment if you uh, have any questions don't hesitate to uh, you know send me a little message and I'll see if I can help you out with your problem or maybe even make you a personalized video. All right, thank you very much YouTube and have a great day. Oh, uh, I almost forgot to mention uh, you might want to check out also uh, Shattered Soul. Uh, check out his blog. I'll put it in my description as well. Uh, he's also got a video for or uh, a written tutorial on how to set up the drivers for uh, Windows 7 as well. And he's also got some other very uh, diff very nifty stuff in here, like how to install new systems on Maximus Arcade. And he also has a YouTube page, which can be found here at Indigo2K1US. Alright, thank you very much. Have a great day.